Yeah, it's the Big Black Richard Show With the tacos drop and the hot sauce flow Three dudes with two stalking shells and cheese One's large, one's proud, and one's free to be Yo, Big Black Richard, we the kings of crunch Gonna give you that spicy talk, hit you with that punch Reviewing every tortilla, bringing heat and fun Fat, black, gay, we embrace it all, no shun That's right yeah, perfect. So, um, welcome to the Big Black Richard podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, perfect so, timing. Perfect timing because Tell the, it away. you know what the the deal is is I've been just explaining this podcast more and more to people. People go, "What is what is the podcast?" And I call it. I said it's the Big Black Richard podcast. I'm big. My friend Keen's black, and my friend Richard. Well, he's a dick. <laughs> and and it makes it perfect because it's like the opposite word, right? Yeah. So wait, what opposite word? Gay? Richard Dick. Richard oh. Dick. Because we're not the big black dick podcast. We're the big black Richard podcast. So I love how you knew I was gonna be the one to say dick. Small, yeah. White. Small black Richard podcast. Yeah. We should do that one day. We'll, we'll just get a tiny person in here. Yeah. Mount, Montgomery can just sit here, <laughs> wear my hat, wear a little button up shirt. No, just he has all of your clothes on, or a jersey or something. Oh yeah, just like yeah, fix it in post, yeah. and then it's just tiny, tiny stuff. Yeah. Um, so so you have something okay. You want to talk about but, before? It. So is Mia's camera on now? It is on. Okay, so I'm gonna. So cool. Landon's fixing it, but but today is yeah. You can't can't fix can't something. fix the darkness. Um, but so today is Mia's first uh, day at the podcast. Woo, happy birthday! So, yeah. Um, so uh, my birthday is ten twenty six. Okay. Cool. And I look at my clock regularly wow. at ten twenty six. It's weird. I don't know if it's a notice thing or just maybe you'll die on your birthday. Thing. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's see. Maybe this year. So so that's Mia. She um, she was my intern last summer, and she is my assistant this summer. Um, she's taking Tyler's spot for a little bit, but Tyler took her spot for a little bit. You see how that worked. But so she's here now, um, and uh, she's probably more engaged than Tyler would be, like because Tyler was on her phone a lot. And fair. Well, she was on. Looked up stuff for us too. Yeah, she did. She, but whenever we talked about stuff, she would. Who's Tyler again? Okay. Ty- yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. Um, so, but, but what, um, what I'm kind of thinking will happen is, so Tyler, you know how Tyler, she would come in like thank sweats. You. Yeah. Thank you. Landon. You know? Yeah. Like Mia, it will never do that. Life. She, she prides herself too much on her appearance. Sure. So she'll never come on this podcast with, uh, pajamas on. Absolutely not. See, oh. so. Wait, I won't even she, go to Walmart in sweats. Woman brushes her hair seventeen what kind of times a day. Are you? It's like a, a good one. It's like Rapunzel, the Asian Rapunzel. <laughs> we could call her Mulan. That's not. No, the same um, thing. no that's that's Preppy's eighties. <laughs> oh, okay. A woman at Rapunzel. in college never walked outside without being fully dressed. Yeah, I used to be like that 80s. too, I mean, but then it's yeah. just it's so totally much work. Just and the women dress for the women. To out, it's true. To outdress right? the women. No, it, it's true. I, I love getting compliments from women about how I dress. That, yeah. That's it. Even to be in the store for five minutes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mia it's, it's doesn't valid. go to the store for five minutes because she doesn't know how to drive. Okay. Oh, that's true. So we're just we're putting it. And that's not a that's not an Asian woman there. stereotype either. No, like, well, her mom doesn't know how to drive like, either. Like, well, but <laughs> that's that's the stereotype. <laughs> it's. Well. This one. <laughs> so today we're, we're actually going to begin the day talking about um, how the communications director of SAISD. Oh my gosh! Talks to her children. Okay. I'm just kidding. We're not going to talk. I was going to say first we need to but, take a uh, shot before we cheers. Get that. Cheers. <laughs> I've been saving this all up for the last couple of days. Heavy. Mm. Tiny throat. Can't do the whole shot. Oh. Fuck. I made it too strong. Tiny, last tiny throat. Yeah. I made it too strong because I was expecting to share it with four people, but then she says she don't want any. I've had a lot of caffeine already. Yeah, me too. I'm Cheers wired. on the Tazo tea. Look at this. You're welcome. Oh fuck me. Oh shit. You know that's what. I, my throat was. My yeah. throat was like messing up, um, and uh, Mia was like, "You should." 
you should probably have some tea. Because, like, that seems pretty... <laughs> so since we're not... It's not since I can't do... Um, I, can't, I can't do uh, Starbucks. Is that a voodoo coffee cup? Yes. Did you get it from Portland or Austin? Uh, San Antonio. Not, San, there's a San Antonio voodoo yes. coffee? Dog, Don, that's hilarious. Sound? I know. You know why I like it so much? You can put your wiener in there. That's oh, what um, I did. I didn't see the donut until <laughs> just wait, now. Wait. The magic is in the hole. The magic is in the hole. <laughs> I there super thought that was the a fleshlight cup. Oh, okay, I see. The magic is in the... Ooh, he just ow. fingered my cup. 100% Ooh. thought it was a fleshlight cup. Didn't see Donut until he pointed it out. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry, how big are you again? So, oh, listen, <laughs> they make them in different shapes and sizes, yeah, yeah, colors, yeah. and they, they're out there. So don't... don't I, okay, Voodoo. I saw one. Uh, there's an ice mold now. Oh, yeah, thank you. I ordered it already. Yeah. Or what? Yeah, there's you an ice, ice mold that's... that's uh, <laughs> Penis shape. Is that so, <laughs> oh, but no. also, I didn't. That's not what's in this. Book. Oh. Okay, I was gonna but say. I damn did, it! I did get us something. <clears throat> I think for future, future whiskey drinking. Oh boo! I thought about fucking but, uh, ice mold. Let's see here. So I, I got this like last week in the mail, and I just put it on the desk and said, "Save for BBR." Yeah. Well, I I looked at it when when you weren't here last week. And I was like, oh, cool. We can do this when Richard's not here. And he's like, no, we have to wait for Richard. I was like, fuck. And then, let's see. I thought I brought... Nope, I didn't bring any. Is there some scissors over there, yeah? Uh, Just use your teeth like you do all... Don't you have, like, big hands? Are they going to turn the monitors on? What? Oh, come on, Seth. I don't know. Rip it open. Bond? What a fucking fake name. I got an email from Bond, John. Maybe it in and plug those in. It's okay. Yeah, they're literally not plugged in, I can tell. from. I do have a hammer over here. What? No Isn't there a song oh. if I had a hammer? No scissors. <laughs> Come on, had it. Well, the that one typically plugs into that one, so it's super fucking tall. Okay. Are you are you really gonna do it right now? Bitch. No, why I not? Think, I think one of those plugs died, buddy. Well, so just you gotta let Landon. So are those we all are getting over. filmed? Yeah, we are all getting filmed. It's just you can't see yourself. I only I yeah. can see me. Wait, why does Richard get to open it? Why not? Oh, the he's gentle. A delicate, he's gentle. delicate hand. He's gentle. Dog. Dude, what? That's why I get to. What the <laughs> fuck? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Dog. It is a decanter. It is a dick canter. <laughs> dick canter. <laughs> <laughs> Just for what us. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good size. It's uh, oh, a good size. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. He's oh, good. Yeah, foam in there. That's oh, I can tell I, you've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment. No, he's, just like, <laughs> he's just playing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an air compressor. We can shove down the yeah. down the tip. Now I don't have on me, but don't point that shit at me, dog. <laughs> Look the, fuck, the fact that it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. You know, that would there be the go. second phallic thing that you've drank out of, Keen. Oh, wait. Second. Second. What was your the first birthday. one? What, what was it on my birthday? We made you the cocktail. Now you can have a real cocktail. What the fuck was in it? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. We got you, we got you a pipe. It was, it was the little oh, pipe. Oh, the pipe, you fuckers. Yeah, yeah. That's right. They got the me little, a, a little penis-shaped Smoking pipe. Smoking pipe for Last tobacco. year on Juneteenth. On my, if you fucker. <laughs> you piece that's of shit. My, that's your birthday, right? Stop. No. Okay. Cinco de Mayo is your birthday, right? Yes. Okay. This year on... And Fourth of July is yours, The day right? before Juneteenth is is the election for chief of police, which this... The re-election? Yeah, the... the it's not a re-election. It's a runoff election. Runoff. But... So what... They pro this is it's by the time this comes out, that's probably already happened. So, uh, I'll shoot my shot. Congratulations, Chief Travis Griffith. Wow, wow. <laughs> just putting it out there. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I'll shoot my yep. shot. Congratulations, Chief Mike Hernandez. We'll get, we'll get Go Landon. Ahead. Oh, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whichever, one, whichever one is right. Uh, I'm already in trouble <sighs> enough. I ordered, I ordered bumper stickers that say honk if you love whiskey. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Just somebody goes, you want to get pulled over? Like, yeah. So. Um, you should say honk if you think drinking and driving is cool. That's, that's that would a be, good one. That'd be a better one. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Um, yeah. Do you have. Honk if you like phallic symbols. You, are you going to go drive your car <laughs> into the building and start honking? 
drive my car in the building. Because you said honk if you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> my, it, it's almost a perfect fit. My cup. I mean, Richard's cup and my. Yeah. And your phallic decanter. Dick okay, canter. but Voodoo Donuts are really good. Donuts. Did you know you can buy a five gallon bucket of day olds at Voodoo Donuts? No. Five gallon bucket of donuts? Yeah, they just take all their donuts from at the end of the day and just dump them in a five gallon bucket. Because well, they're that, like, what does that cost you? I don't know. Probably, I think it was like probably 20 nothing. Probably like 20 bucks when I was in Portland last. Of course you would know that. I mean, yeah. When was the last time you had Fat. a gallon of donuts? Is it five gallons or a gallon? Five gallons. Okay, of when donuts. was the last time you had a five gallon of donuts? Right, never. Like that. Oh, you could, yeah. Delicious. Are they like an assortment of just? Yeah, oh, they okay. literally just like pull them off the shelves. They're like, well, well we don't want to resell. We don't want to sell these. So they just dump them in a bucket. Hmm. And you just get the bucket that you get. That's cool. I like that idea. Yeah. My daughter would love that. So she they also do penis shaped donuts. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I got a picture. Did really? you Let eat me it? See. No, I didn't. I didn't. What? They also do oh, a you, voodoo you doll. lady in the tramped it with Brent. No, we did not. Oh. They just took a picture of it behind glass. Oh. Yeah. It was a cream. Was a cream. Was a cream filled. I have no idea. It can be from the back or the front. I don't know what they um, do. Nut shaped. But donut. I walked into um, Jack and Jill Donuts this morning, and Mia. She was like, "Can I go in with you?" Because the kids were in the car, and she goes, "Can I? Can I go in with you?" I'll and I was like, "Sure." You. And I looked up at Van, and I go, "Hey, I found one." I'll send this. To you <laughs> do you know how to send her back? <laughs> And Van was like, I hate you. And also, you told me that joke last time she came to Jesus the donut shop. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I was laughing at Seth's joke. He's I didn't even hear Seth's joke. What did you say? I said some. It's th- either a racist joke or a gay joke. Probably a mix of both. Well, now we have so many options. Yeah. We have a little Asian, spectrum. Asian, black, Hispanic, white. You can make fun of anybody in this room. And. Yeah. Straight. Straight. Are you sure about that? Gay. You sure about that? Chopstick. Up in the air? Oh my gosh. Occasionally? Uh, Definitely not straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? There you go. See? See? We we have lots of options. I'm coming out officially right now. Oh, (laughs) dang. <laughs> and she told her class that we're we do the BBR, so now they're wow. all subscribers. Now you can't go yeah. back to Dallas. Or I, I guess you can. You know, I think uh, in Dallas they, they know about it more than anybody in San Diego. Yeah, does your mom? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, because I would definitely want her mom to see this, but I would want to like show it to her and watch her reaction. How funny it would be uh, if Sue was right here behind that? this curtain and I would just She could fit and she could be hidden. Oh yeah, tiny Asian woman. Yeah. She can be the small person. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't That's Oh, true. tiny Seth? Tiny Seth. Tiny, tiny Asian tiny Seth. Seth. Oh, Asian only podcast. So, <laughs> I agree. Laura, I second. So, so Sarah second. get her grandma on. Here. Sarah and Daniel, right? They're my friends. Mm-hmm. They have uh, multiple children. A lot is multiple. And and one of them her name, they, they all have two names, but if you take enough letters out, like in order, but if you take enough letters out, it'll say Seth. If you <laughs> take enough letters out and then you squish it together, it's Seth. So I call her little Seth. <laughs> and and uh, I guess Sarah has made the comment to Lara a few times that C- little Seth looks like my daughter, Bennett. And, and uh, she texted me the other day oh, as wow. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, so, uh, you know how, and she goes, is there anything that you want to tell me? And I go, yeah, little Seth is my kid. <laughs> Cause that's why me and Sarah bicker so much when we're together. And <laughs> she, she was like all mad cause she made the comment and then she was all mad. And, and then a couple days later I messaged her about it again. And I was like, so, uh, I'm going to go hang out with my other daughter. <laughs> Jesus. And I just like sent her the flip off emoji. <laughs> it was like, yeah, don't start crap like that. So what a what a great joke to have. But this week, which is weeks ago when this goes live, uh, yeah. Laura, my wife, is out of town for a week. So I have my children, which is why now I have to look over at one of them and ask, why are you in this room and not watching your other siblings? It looks like a ferret. Go ahead. Yeah. You just look at his face. He wants a haircut now. It's he not even his hair. It it's, his, it's his face. It's his face. It's his face. Yeah, look, smile again. Do it. Do that face you're just doing. He he just has this <laughs> to grow into. Yeah. Like, I look a so lot like my dad. So much to look forward to. 
So I feel like he'll look a lot like me. Yeah. Did you need something, buddy? Or are you just going to watch us make fools of ourselves? Okay, cool. Um, so That's funny. Tacos? Uh, yeah, so these are from a place in San Angelo. So I'll let yeah, you guys guess. Wow, that's wrong. Your guess? No, no guess? No guess. Okay. I have nothing. Is okay. it on the yeah, north side Diego's. or south side? How do you know it's Diego's? Because north. how they wrap them in the sauce. Oh, is it Diego's? It is Diego's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just didn't Which want Diego's the, did you go to? The one closest to my house because... Which one is that? Uh, uh, on Knickerbocker? Knickerbacker Road. Wow. So there's a story wow. about that. So a, a few years ago... Wow. I, wait, wait, wait. What? Knickerbacker. Distribute. Tell oh, story. distribute, then tell story. Uh, these <laughs> are this potato... It's potato? Uh, potato. And bacon, please? It's, it's spicy potato. I know how much you love spicy things, so go ahead and get your water and your ass wipes ready. Um, so I had, I've had i had a series of cars uh, due to uh, unfortunate circumstances of getting in car accidents slash car crashes. Because you don't know how to drive. Correct. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this time, an 18-wheeler had scraped the entire driver's side of my car when I, had my, when I was going to go pick up my little sister because of that really tight turn over by the old HEB. When was this? Like years ago. Oh, okay. It was before I knew you. Oh, okay. And um, I, was, I was like, okay, whatever. And it was like an old, it was like a 2019 or, or it was a 2009 Hyundai Sonata. And uh, it, the insurance company was like, okay, well, this is a total loss because... Your car's fucked. Yeah. Um, and then so I was dealing with the insurance company and the little dispatchers to figure out where to have my car towed to because I couldn't drive it. Mm-hmm. And the fucking dispatcher on the phone, he's like, uh, address and then uh, the name of the business. And so I was like, okay, um, Meineke on Knickerbocker Road in San Angelo. And then I looked up the address and told him the address. And then he's like, okay. And he's like, <clears throat> in his accent, whatever. Um, he's like, yeah, yeah, Meineke. Uh, Nigar bag out road, da 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 da. I was like, sure, bro. That's that's the spot. Yep. So it, my car got there, but the name he said was not the place or the street where it should have been. So I've, I haven't had a good interaction with dispatchers when it came to describing locations in San Angelo because they usually end up similar to that. So that was four. Five, seven years ago. Probably right after I moved here. Gotcha. And these uh, tacos are spicy. And um, Seth had to go outside for a little bit because he heard some screaming. Yeah, he brought his fucking kids to work. The kidnapped ones are making a commotion. Are the kidnapped ones? Yeah. In, in the secret room that he keeps locked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't fed him in a while, so. <laughs> He just hit one over the head by the yeah, side. Yeah, I don't know if you guys Is that his the secret room where he hides and yes. nobody can find him? Yes. Yeah, and, and with, with the children. Yeah. Gotcha. It's quite disturbing. I've, I've had to... It's like a little workshop down there. Yeah, you know. Um, mm. They actually uh, helped set up this room, so... Did a little bit of the painting. Did you, did you hit one over the head with the desk? Because that's what it sounded that's like. That's what it sounded like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, but, yeah. Oh, uh, what is it called? American Ice Football. <laughs> Have you, American ice football. Have you heard of it? Has anybody heard of it? No. no. So it was a thing that I think happened in February, but you can watch the uh, tournament, I guess, that they had. And it was like, I think it's only like three games. Um, Did you open my garage? No. How, how would I open your How? She said, lift up garage door, please. And then she said, bag secured. Who? Oh. Jay. Your wife. Why is my wife at your house? Well, she's, oh my God, she's getting, getting piano in the bag. piano bag. Oh, you weren't here. Okay, no. Yeah. Continue. Sorry. I was like, what? American Ice. American Ice Football. So my brother that lives in Houston. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, he. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Whatever your question is, yes. Yes. Your bio brother? No. No. Okay. C- dog. Can you not use the hard R then? This is, this is new, by the way, what he's talking about. What? First episode was February 11th. This year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is a completely new thing. It's called American Ice Football. It's not in America. It's in Germany. Correct. It's amazing. It's, I've, I've never been interested in sports my entire life. I tried basketball, trash. Like, I've, I've played all the sports. Like, the That's American weird. baseball, football, 
uh, all the shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. The, the issue is I couldn't see. I needed, I needed glasses for everything. So football with glasses, or uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to have like those like goggles. Goggles. Or, and they contacts, suck. And, and I hard couldn't to do like, gla- Yeah, I couldn't do it. Put on expensive. with your helmet. And, yeah. Plus your face is all to everybody's scratches. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that, that's the best part about it. Uh, yeah, um, I was going to say, that might be an incentive. No. But no, Americanized football, it, it's great. Whatever. They do, it's American rules, more or less, of football on a hockey rink in like a basketball stadium. And it's fucking amazing. All the refs are on skates and all of the players are wearing bowling shoes. But they're but they're so full like about it. Yeah. Extra slippery. Yes. <laughs> like yes. just like let's make this they're running as in place for most break of it. my leg yep. as possible. Okay. It, it's fucking fantastic. So there's the West Coast Weesies, the East Coast the oh the the Easty Boys is their fucking name. The North Coast Naughties and the South Coast Smoothies. And so it was three games, four teams, and then you can watch them on YouTube. They're like every quarter is like five minutes. Because uh, it's they're on ice and the, it's like soccer rules, but the timer keeps going. Okay. So after every play, the timer's still going unless there's a flag on the play, a flag on the field, and they just fucking they're just running and skating and flipping each other off while they're running. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. It's the, it's the best sport I've ever watched in my a lot entire of life. Testosterone. Well, yeah, and it's it's uh, fifty yard because it's like high, high, hockey rink, so it's like fifty yards across. American ice football. Can ice football. No. So, so we should definitely go. Yes, yes. I, I want South Coast Smoothies. I think it's that's the green team is my favorite because they have the dude on his name is fucking. Where do they play at? Germany. Germany. So we gotta go to Germany. You have to go to Germany, and he goes there all the time, so it would be no problem. Yeah, and you have a passport too, right? Then we can just go. So you I don't have know a passport. Yeah. I didn't know they gave you one when you have a green card. <laughs> you know what? That's why he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brett and I, we, we had to get new passports. So we go and get a new passport because we can't find the passports that we had. Uh, we're going on a trip. We order at the same time. He gets his literally within a week. Because he's Polish. And I don't get mine for another like three months. Like we had ordered earlier. He goes, yeah, that's a privilege of being white. <laughs> he can't. He, well, they couldn't figure out if his name... <laughs> It, they couldn't figure out if his name was had an S or a Z in it, so. <laughs> They're like, hmm, this one looks familiar. You gotta look into this one. Which one? There's a yeah. lot of Richard Gonzalez's that they're trying to keep out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Not let leave. <laughs> I saw Brent, and they're like, yeah, go ahead and prove it. Lock it Palous- Polunsky, what is it? Palowski. Palowski. Polunsky is a different family here in San Angelo. But that's definitely Polish or something, right? Yeah. 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 It's pretty good for a spicy it potato. Oh, hey, shit. Made it. Uh, oh. Oh, that looks funny. Look at him. It's so <laughs> fucking funny, man. <laughs> and then when they, when they look, to... look at them kick the field goal, just from a, a stall. Because they can't, they can't get can't a They can't run and start. Run and start. <laughs> look oh at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's flipping <flicking them off>. them <laughs> I fucking love the announcers because they're like, that's un taunting. That's un taunting. It's American ice football. I fucking, it's, I was watching oh, it with Juju in the bed last night. Wow. For like the third time. Okay, I just met a, a guy this Sunday and they're at a chili cook off and he is German. And he, he said that, yeah, my accent, the word telling him to say neighbor. Um, like, uh, say neighbor. Fire, neighbor. He goes, no, I won't. He goes, I'll tell you what, though, I, w- I did go to um, Burger King or some fast food restaurant and he wanted, um, Free, three burgers, and uh, the guy's like, I'm sorry, but we don't give free burgers out here. He goes, I just want three burgers. He goes, I'm sorry, we don't get three, we don't give free burgers out. He goes, okay then, give me four. <laughs> give me four burgers. <laughs> I'll eat an extra one. <laughs> you can't give me three. <laughs> and they, they say three like this in Germany. How, how else would you say three? Oh. It's... I don't know what happened in this talk. One, two, three, four, five. Eins, zwei, drei. Are you German? No. Oh. Well, bohemian, so yes. But like Rhapsody? Yeah. Oh. Super gay. Um, no Starbucks. 
Oh, I I thought he had something. No to Starbucks, chime in. but but we give them more. We give them more airtime than anything because Bro, you, you wait. Pour hold it. on, are you double cupped on a Starbucks right now? Because yeah, yeah, Americano is hot, bro. So they double cup you? Yeah. Double gulp. Fuck me. Are you for real? Yeah. That's awful. So yeah. So Germany Americanized football. I can't find any like website for it or anything because I was gonna. I will. I wanted to buy a jersey. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I, I, I wanted. Bet you, I bet you just have to look at websites that are dot de or dot es. Yes, I think so. I I'll, they fucking they're they're Germany. sponsored by fucking Nissan. Like all of the jerseys have like Nissan logos and shit yeah. on them. So like around yeah, the that rink. Was, that was what I was gonna ask. Like I know it's relatively new. It's popular in Germany. Like how much money do you think these players are pulling in? I don't know. Probably not that much. Probably not that much. Probably but the channels that it's just a passion thing. Yeah. So so you know that how makes it even better. you know how like Ryan Reynolds owns Worcester Krauts, Rexham, Rexham, yeah. And and then there's a YouTuber. His name is John Green. He owns part of a Strip English oh. soccer team that's like really really low in the thing. Sure, but they're like progressing and getting better. Um, but it was like this American YouTuber just decided, like, I'm going to buy a team. I'm going to buy part of a team. So I wonder what it would cost, like. To buy the New for, York Knicks. No, no. For <laughs> San Angeles. It would be like the San Angeles Studios, whatever, for. <laughs> oh, oh, please. <laughs> just like. Please. Some random um, Seth Life. Americanized buy. football team. Yeah. I or, want that. San Angeles Whiskey Collective. I want that team. so bad. Yeah, uh, so I've I think I made a decision on the uh, the sheep. So yesterday Ooh, we went and got the sheep at it's called Congress Ram. I don't because Congressman, you know, it's in front of <laughs> August Fluger. I'm have to touch his leg again. It's on August Fluger. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> he touches whose leg? He you touches know. mine so that I'll look at him. Oh, I was like, wait. He what? prefers it when I, he prefers it when I look him in the eyes. Deep While we're deep. having fun. Um, Whenever Seth talks, he just talks to Pinky. Because he's across yeah. from me. Let's switch these right now. Matter. Let's switch these right now. They're lovers. Bet. They're lovers. Bet. Okay, I'll sit over there, and then Mia will sit here. And then, oh, I'll no. still talk to you over Mia there. will sit here, and then you'll sit here, and I'll sit back there. I'm not a but. Um, so, what was I talking about? He can't, he can't oh, talk to you because then the tension in the room would. Oh, we, exactly. can't, we can't all have erections okay. in the room. <laughs> I no, already have can. mine right here. We actually here. can't. <laughs> okay. you know what? Hey, we don't know wait, what's wait, under wait. the hood over there. <laughs> All right. Okay. You, I mean, <laughs> isn't it like Thai? All right. Maybe she's Asian. from Thai. She's <laughs> Thailand. You know my mother. She's the wrong so Asian. Um, so speaking of Thai in the hood. Okay. Next. <laughs> you were talking about the Rams. <laughs> you've got, you've got a new house to live in. Individual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was tie in the hood, bro. So um, we can go back to that in a second. But yeah. so Congress ran while well, August Fluger was like talking about it. And and one thing that that I I so passionately love about our mayor here in San Angelo is is how at every single thing that she gets to talk about. We're going to get in trouble with this. Yeah. Um, every single thing <laughs> that she is at, somehow, she works into this t- the speech that she gives on how she was the like the piece of this thing that made something happen. Like she was like a quintessential piece of anything, and it could be. Anything. Yeah. I've I've been to so many ribbon cuttings and open houses and 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 uh, anniversaries of businesses or whatever. And somehow she works in how she was a quintessential part of it. And and I hate that she does it, but I love listening to her and finding it. Like finding when when is she gonna say it? When is she gonna say it? And yesterday <laughs> she talked about how well, we did this about the 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 land, the sheep's, the ewes mm-hmm. everywhere in San Angelo, and how she was just such a part of it, and and I'm like, I'm like, she's a nice lady, and she has a great business here in town, and I don't have anything like terrible to say about her, but 
that. Like she takes credit for anything. So I, I've <clears throat> the few things. Yes. Um, the restaurant. Don't let me forget because I will forget. Why are you looking at me like that, Richard? Oh, it's property of Jack white, Boys. Uh, yeah, it's a white man, so you know. Your property of white man. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Product. Knew that. There's a movie. He doesn't know who Travis okay. Scott is, so it doesn't make sense. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, Scott. it's this whole thing. Don't worry about it. What were you gonna say? Okay. I, I was gonna say there's this new Netflix series or this new Netflix movie or something that we talked about last week, but I feel like we need to bring Richard in on it. Yeah. Is the um, Magical Society. Oh no, wait. The American Society of Magical Negroes. And the description of the show is basically Keen's life. He makes my life easier. And it's it's he a group of... It, yeah, I know. It's a group of... I know. It's, he services you. He <laughs> <laughs> it's a group of... <laughs> Of African American individuals that seemingly make life easier for white people. I cannot and wait for this clip to come out, and the fucking caption <sighs> is "da da 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 Negroes." Yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, and so I feel like we should watch it together. together. Fine, that's fine. Popcorn. Tonight, not nah, uh, maybe. Are you gonna come over to my house? No. Fuck. Bring fine. Tyler. Th- Tyler is this his name? Ty. Tyler. Just Ty. Just Ty. Just Ty. What were you gonna say? Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so. So, so <laughs> in the, how many minutes have we been doing this show right now, today? Uh, Not long 25. enough. Mia has talked more than uh, Tyler, Tyler did. has talked. Damn, get and, fucked, Tyler. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Has she? Or not? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm asking. We're not allowed to talk about that on air. That's one of the things that <laughs> no, we're she's super... asking about her talking. Oh, I, yeah, thought no. he was, I thought he was asking about the get fucked, Tyler part. Were you? No. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh you're telling well, just to clarify. Yourself. No, just to clarify. Sorry, Miss Robinson. No, whenever we talk about Tyler, she's like this. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't <laughs> say a whole lot. Well, I think <laughs> I don't get to see Tyler. I, don't, I mean, I barely get to see Mia because this monitor is fucked up. But she's taller. Yeah, I can see bit. her eyes, mm-hmm. and her eyes are like the same orientation of her eyebrows. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Are you talking about Oriental? I, <laughs> wow, you're, that, not supposed to, that, you're not supposed to use that word. That's not that's an Asian? offensive word. Oriental, it's like midget. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm, yeah, you're not supposed to say that not, word either. Yeah, you're not. Or or. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Or, you started or with. the there's there's two hard R's you're not allowed to say. And it's okay, okay, okay. That one and stop, stop. The other R. Jesus Christ. What's the other R. So, <laughs> <laughs> it so refers that, to a group anyway, of special needs going individuals. Going back to what I was talking oh. about, uh, this is fucking beef and potatoes, I think. Jay wanted this one. so I was, oh, okay. was going to get lingua, which is cow tongue, but oh, apparently they don't have fucking lingua I ever. Have you wouldn't have known it was you lingua. Known. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have. Does it look like a cow tongue? It, it tastes. It, it you tastes have like to taste it first. Yeah, Does it taste it. like another tongue in your mouth? Ooh. I like that. Well, um, you might like it if it if you thought. So, <laughs> sheep. Yes, are you going to get one? I was going to so, ask that question. I've thought about getting two sheep two. for a long time, one for San Angelo Studios, one for the Whiskey Collective. And yesterday it hit me, like, I don't have to do two. I can do one. Then it can be, one side can be Whiskey Collective, one side can be San Angelo Studios. Sure. And that way, it's like, it, the, I, I always feel like Seth Life is this thing that I did, but like the two things that actually impact our community is San Angel Studios and the Whiskey Collective. True. And so I want to just have like one one side will be the San Angel Whiskey Collective sheep, and another side will be a fairly empty blank sheep with the San Angel Studios logo. And then the idea would be um, on the San Angel Studios side, we'd invite people that have businesses here to come put their sticker on it. And so like. Hmm. It would slowly. Can I put my sticker on that? Yeah, okay. I don't. I'll make a sticker. On. Oh, okay. You know, if you were to get two sheep, I feel like one should be like an uncomfortably large, blown up picture of your face, oh my God. and then one should be one of Keen's face, and then you'll have them like mounting each other. With this glass thing in the bottom. They don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just made things so much more expensive. Um, <laughs> the mounting of the face. Well, the whole thing is like the. So the mayor told us about this is when we started the program, when she started the program, apparently, um, there, well, there well, was, did she start the they, program? I don't know, okay. but there was a group of people, um, 
And and so she she said that whatever organization they were with let them order ten sheep. They're very lightweight. Like where'd you put it? Um, out front. I've seen but, a couple, but they're ones. but they're very lightweight, yeah. and they're just like fiberglass, and styrofoam inside, and they've yeah, I don't know what's inside of them, but um, they're they're very light. Like if you it. had to, you could move it by yourself. It's easier with two people. So okay. To steal? Well, so they mount them to the Let's ground. They like the one out here by the corner has uh, uh, is like mounted to a big piece of granite. <laughs> So it's like they, they're not going anywhere, but once you have to mount them to the ground. So, um, but why I was saying that is it was already a pain in the butt for them to get like this specific mold done. So if I wanted to get a, a sp- specific mount mold, <laughs> it would just be ridiculously expensive. Sure. So I think they're like $2,000. It's not bad. So they're not terrible. I think that's just um, the base, though, like the starting at Yeah, point. so then you have to hire an artist and, like, have it, have it painted on. Isn't but that like, just one artist that does all of them? No. You oh. can pick your artist. Mm. But what I was thinking is it's really – I'm literally going to put the San Angelo Studios SA logo mm-hmm. on one side and leave the rest of it just white. And then on the other side, it will have the Whiskey Collective logo, which is not complicated. Um, and then I thought about, like – as for the Seth life, just to just to have it is either on the like the forehead of the sheep, just put a little Seth life logo, or uh, I was thinking like right under the butthole. Yes, like I thought that'd be it's like, shitting out. Seth put life. my mark on San Angelo. That's fair. Well, originally you had the idea for the San Angelo whiskey sheep to be the logo, so like it would be brown. With yeah, the that's what I want to do. Oh, okay. yeah. Not so just the- they're just gonna paint. So the whiskey side will be the logo, like, where it's painted on. Oh, okay. But, like, only the half of it. Okay. Um, and, and then when people are like, well, why not the other half? And be like, have you ever seen the other side of the logo? No, you haven't. The other side of the logo is white. <laughs> With a I San Angelo Studios S on it. I suppose. Smart. Did you like your talking? Yeah, talk I did. So, uh, but I'm ready to do. I think I'm ready to. Well, do you know what they say about San Angelo yeah. is where the men are men and the sheep are nervous. I thought that was College Station. College Station, no, it's San Angelo. I've never heard that in my life. Because your sheep aren't nervous. What the fuck does that mean? <clears throat> well, Aggies like to <laughs> fuck sheep. <laughs> So that's why I thought it was a thing in College Station. I'm relatively sure that that's where chlamydia originated from. The sheep fuckers? Yes. Oh, okay. From where? Oh, yeah, it's true. Yes. Wait, in College Station? No. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. All I am not chlamydia started that. in College Station. Well, there's like, <laughs> yes. what do they call it? When I was in college, they called it the the Raider Rash. Oh, it was in yeah. Lubbock. They still I, call it that. Is that still a thing? Okay. That's great. Well, so what animal? Bored. What? Is the koalas that have chlamydia mm-hmm. naturally? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fucking yes. disgusting. They just live with chlamydia all day, every day, from start to finish. Yeah, it's Mia's fault. Yeah. You also didn't educate her on what she needed to do because she, right. she, she looked at me like I was a busboy. She was like, ooh, refreshments. I when did. I, was walking. I even said it audibly. I was like, uh, refreshments. Yeah. She's well, like, uh, so Mia, in the future, vo- um, on this board right here, it <laughs> should say the, the Big the Black best. Richard podcast. So why doesn't it? Because um, usually... The help does it. The, well, I'm just... I'm wondering why it... Do, like, who takes it off? Oh, because we have oh. a lot of different... Oh, okay. I was going to say... So, okay. here's a little lesson here. So we built this podcasting studio to rent out to people to come and do their podcast in this yes. room, right? And so we have a couple, but what... So Landon and I uh, decided to do one called Bricks and Business... And what we do is we play with Legos and talk about business. And then uh, Richard Keen and I came up with the Big Black Richard podcast. Seth came up with it. I came up with the title. Yeah, Seth, no, Seth came up with Big Black Dick. Oh. Yeah, he, oh my God, he went to the bathroom to go take a sh- – wait, did you go take a – it doesn't matter. He went to the bathroom while we were in the gym. Me and Richard are doing our, the rest of our set. And he comes up. He's like, guys, I have a great idea. 
And I was like, well, we're fucked already. <laughs> and I was like, well, go ahead and say it. And he said, the big black dick. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And he said, I'm big, you're black, and he's Richard. I was like, fantastic. And he's like, let's turn into a podcast. I was like, well, fuck it. Sure, we'll do it today. And I didn't like the title. He didn't like the title because he was, in fact, a dick in that moment. Yes. No, I just think that <laughs> it would have been better to infer Richard and people assume no. dick. Yeah. A so. little bit of so, thought exercise. Yeah. But we do these two. We do these two. One, for fun. Like, this is enjoyable for us. Yeah. But also to engage some of the community. Like, we'll bring some people on. Uh, we haven't done it on this one, but we have done it on the other one. And then also to test everything and to make everything in this space better. So like when a random person says, I want to do a podcast, we have already experimented with a bunch We've of We've already stuff. had that position done. So Yeah. Experience, right? Yeah. And so, Especially okay. so all that to say, when every podcast pretty much those get switched around. Gotcha. I understand. Um, so uh, what I was going to tell you, though, as... You whip out your ass. Oh, go, go ahead. Now, I'll give you this after. Now that you're my assistant for the summer, and and really, like, this week... Did you see the face she made for the <laughs> camera? <laughs> I um, broke the fourth But wall. so she... Um, uh, really, like, this is her first week, but it's really light. I've been babysitting. Light week. She oh. babysat yesterday so for, babysitting right for an hour and a half. No, she's in here. For an oh, hour no. and a half, you babysat. I, I, I wrote down you worked five hours. Um, an hour and a half, you listen, babysat. I, I'm not ungrateful. I yeah. am just saying that is that is why I was not bereaved. Because so, yesterday I was left with the children. So, it's true. my assistant. So, this is the deal. Anything that... I can't stop looking at the dick canter. Oh, yeah. It's enthralling. It's nice, it's right? Rising. So, yeah. so what, what I kind of set up is, as my assistant, your main function is, is to, to make to my everyone. life easier. No, no can do. So, <laughs> so like, the, the key here is, if you, if, if you have something that can be, that you can do, I need you to do it. If it's something that has to use me, then that's fine. Let, engage me. But like, if you're able to accomplish something without my help, uh, I need you to do that. And so the case in point here is I gave you those postcards with stamps, and you put stamps on them, and then you put them back on my desk. Mm -hmm. So like <laughs> next time, put the, go put them in the mailbox. <laughs> So they have to oh, go wait, I didn't know if you wanted me to. <laughs> no, wait. it's good. It's yeah. good. Because and, and he didn't actually have stamps. There weren't all enough the stamps. stamps, and yeah, I there get aren't it. Enough stamps. But like, you put it back on my desk, so I don't. I won't, I want. I'm hiring you to get rid of the things, the menial tasks that I do, because you it, mean, not as an assistant, as a personal assistant. Yes. Yeah. yeah what. Was there confusion there? No, Richard just wanted to oh, get a little more, yeah. a little more intimate yeah. with his words. So, but that's my 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 hope is because what I, what I would find myself doing a lot is I'd I'd go down my list of things like that's my child. That is um, a list of my things, and I would look at the ones that like I could accomplish really quickly, or like hi gummy, um, could could accomplish. Um, quickly but like actually have something done and I would go do that instead of the things that make money and so now I have Mia and then in the fall I'll have Tyler to like here do will this, you ever have both of them thing. at the same time I don't know maybe there might have to be an overlap I thought you said you were you should make them fight like physically oh yes well actually I think Tyler that, did say we did talk that about that Tyler really? said, I said, uh, Tyler, match. no, we can't tell her what Tyler said. Oh, well, but if, if you were to fight Tyler, would you win? Um, it definitely depends on like what scenery we're in. Motherfucker, Ooh. what? Like if you're yeah. in a Victoria's Secret versus a no, children's like, place? Like if it's, if it's a ring versus if there's like large objects around, if oh, it's like in this nature. this motherfucker is using oh, environmental you know, tactics. Yeah. ring, I automatically thought about mud, oil. 
Uh, sprinkler wow. heads. Whipped cream. Oh, oh you're the, yeah. No, you're the like grossest that. old man ever. <laughs> the fucking worst. Uh, <laughs> So like if, if if there's a brick of wow. it, that I think that changes. <laughs> so I would just I mean I think Why Tyler was gross? like wait, no, Tyler, Tyler, she didn't wait. So yeah. if if the situation was right for you, would you win? Well, that's that's unfair. If the situation were right for me, then obviously. But you know. We should just do it where they fight on the roof. And oh <laughs> <God>. <laughs> loser no, I'm, I'm dies. <laughs> loser gets it. off the roof. On the very top of the mortal, elevator shaft. Mortal Kombat. Oh my god. Uh-huh. <laughs> Finisher. Battle of the <laughs> Battle of the Assistants. Um, but no, I think Tyler was pretty confident that she would win. Yeah. And it sounds like Mia was pretty confident that she would win. But I, I reminded Tyler that you that she's from uh like South Korea. No, oh. no, I'm saying Tyler is from oh. like some frou frou place in Dallas that like uh-huh. You know, some little wealthy area, and and Mia is from the streets of San Angelo and knows karate. <laughs> the streets <laughs> of San Angelo. Yes. Also, I think I would pregame the battle with um, twenty balls. milligrams of Adderall, and um, I think um, twenty. Jesus fuck. Yeah. That's double what Lara takes. Yeah, I th- I think with that I'll locked be good. in like a mother. It would be very premeditated. Mm. That's a thing. I, I, like spontaneous. I'm not sure, but if I had like a plan, yes. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like what we should do is like. I, I think it's just funny the thought of your in, is your, your assistants fighting for no you, reason at all. No, you can not, pick yeah. one and then Landon can get the other, and then you guys could be the managers of them, like you know get them prepped and stuff, mm. and then. What am I, the fluffer? What? You're the ref. You're the ref. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna watch, because um, <laughs> I can't. I ba- can't. Oh yeah, the basement. That's pretty advantageous yeah. for either person because there's just random shit mm-hmm. down there there's like, for shit now. Yeah. There's a ladder down there right now. Is there? It's still Dope. unless you moved it. Okay. There's a hammer too. Yeah, you. Yeah, this would be great. You know, but but also I don't do things like in a chill way ever. So like, if oh. I had time to prepare, like that would be all I did for yeah. weeks. She's gonna let's, file her nails into points. Let's do like yeah. rope. Let's rope off Tuig Chadburn with those little. The, the cowboys. Oh my god! And like, let's wrap them around the cowboys and then just have them fight in that in that square. That'd be pretty entertaining. A squared circle. We should just host pop up fights. Ooh, there was a place I used to do that. By the way, you know, actually, you can do. Mi- there's midget wrestling. I know we're not supposed to say midget. Speedo. If this is genuinely a thing, like I will box her. Like Ooh. we can actually set this. I I totally would train and box her. Like, that means so, so down. like this sounds so Jake Paul right now. Well, like I'm just I'm so happened? down for I it. Know. I don't know what fight that is. Like just, MMA, Mike Tyson. Wow. absolutely. So it, so, <laughs> who is who's Mike Tyson? Who is Jake Paul in the situation? Oh, I was like, you don't know who Mike Tyson is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know who either would be. Well, I mean, Jake uh, Paul is a white, can't like. But Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson white bitch. So that's Tyler, and oh Mike Tyson God. is a seasoned fighter. Is a uh, minority biter. individual. Boom. That, yeah, that's wow. easy. That's all Mike Tyson. That, is. That's the only requirement. Yeah. When he punches through this wall, I don't want to hear anything. Uh, we can pre bite off your ear. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. He, Mike Tyson didn't Whatever bite off his own takes. fucking I'm, ear. I'm so Somebody else did. Down. No, Mike Tyson bit someone's ear. Oh. You thought someone ate Mike Tyson? Oh, beard? Mike Tyson, he has the tattoos on his yeah, face, right? Yeah, and he talks with a lith. And, yeah, he was in a hangover. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 with the, he owned the cat, the tiger. The tiger, the cat. The cat. Look, I can touch my fingers on this side. So it's it's perfect fit, because, you know, if your fingers touch, that's how tips, tip that's to how tip. big your circumference This is. reminds me of Silicon Valley, tip to tip. Tip to tip, not D, D, D2F. D2F. D2F, dictafloor. Dic- 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 dictafloor. Dic- yeah, can we bring that back for Caleb? The the uh, dicks how, he would how, suck how is Caleb per. Doing? An, I don't know. He's alive uh, and well. He he. Uh, two nights ago, he was downtown, and then I called him right as he was leaving downtown because I needed him to move something here, and he was like, "Well, sorry, I'm already too far away." So then he's I got a girlfriend again. So that's he does that's good. the old one back. The, the old one back. Got the old one back. So. The one that probably wouldn't be pleased about what we've said about her on this, Man. I guess, but whatever. I Fuck them. Um, I mean, either she's in it for the long haul and it's crap that she's going to have to deal with her whole life, or she's out. Mm. 
listen, you know, whatever. Oh, oh, this is what I meant to give. Still you. haven't got to meet her. Probably, while we get, oh, so we don't get too far ahead of you ourselves. You want me to reimburse you? I owe you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You have a Seth Life credit card. Yeah, I was like, cool. Jay was like, do you want me to buy the tacos? I was like, nah, babe, I got it today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time, out one time second. we go, we go to Reina's Tacos. When it was, <laughs> we, he's like, I'll, I'll get lunch today. I'll get lunch today. And I'm like, okay. And he was, you were doing something on your phone. And so I had to run up to the, I had to go do it. Well, he, he goes here and he hands me his credit card and I just walk up, pay for it. And I'm walking back and I look down and see that it's my credit card that he has in his wallet. And I'm like, so I bought lunch today, I guess. Yeah. I, so I'm poor right now. So it's a that's, reparations. You know, yeah, that, that's fair. So I know I, I mean, don't have to not pay you only back. reparations for the slavery situation, but <laughs> for the slavery situation of last year. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. He had me in the basement for like four months. It was a good time. No food. Jay loved it. Yeah. It was, it was rough. Said, we were at that Black Swan and um, the bartender. Black Swan. Black Swan. The wine bar. In San Antonio? In San, no, here. No, they closed. Is it called what? Swan? Dead Horse? No, right by Mark. Um, the pub, there's an empty building, the, the wine bar. 1970. No, Black Swan. Dog, they, they were what? closed. It was a wine bar. How long? Like four years ago? No. Two, yeah, about four years ago. <gasps> oh, oh, no. It, it was right here. Yeah. It was right here. Uh, right next to that right art, that museum? Yeah. Well, it's just no, no, no. Right you you oh, know our parking, parking lot? lot? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. it was called the Black Swan. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know what it was called. And then I'm they, ch- I thought then they like- changed it to something else, and then that didn't work out because the guy and his wife got, like, stationed somewhere else. Oh, and they were they, military? So then they, they sold it to um, this this company that owns, like, this off-road track you know thing that, in Dallas. Right? It's cool. Josh. Josh Mex- Wintel? The Mexican Jew. Oh, Remember fuck. Him? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, I got I had a Whataburger gift card, Damn and I gave it to him to pay for our wine. And he comes back. He goes, "I'm sorry, sir, but um, I swiped it three times and it doesn't go through. Do you have another credit card?" <laughs> he never looked to see if it was a <laughs> Whataburger. Well, card. nowadays you can put anything on a credit on a card, so he might have just thought you were joking with him, that was or joking. it was a joke. Oh, what but it was, a, it was a it was a gift card. Yeah, yeah that's, that's hilarious. The, there was a. Uh, there, I told you when me and Jay went to Abilene so I can go take my motorcycle course, which I passed, so I could stop riding my bike illegally. Did you already get your car? Congratulations. I, I did. I, I don't have it on me, which is actually bad because they cut my current driver's license up. Oh, so. because you uh, have to pay a bill. In, yeah, I had to pay 175 Virginia. reinstatement. Fuck you, Virginia. <laughs> you your entire. Pay? Yeah. Virginia's for lovers. Fuck so em. that's what they want. I love to fuck them. I had to pay 175 reinstatement fee and then take a driver clinic class, the driver improvement class, just to reinstate my license in my old name. So, oh. Oh, so can we go by? No, um, this is for my my house insurance. Oh, cool. Um, so uh, so just to get my old driver's license reinstated so I could renew my Texas driver's license. So yeah, yeah, I'm good now. I have a paper one. You're which, good now, except you don't have it on you. Yeah. So. And I'm not driving. Jay is driving anyway, so it's fine. But, um, yeah, 52. Cool. Yeah, what? 52. Oh, you were time? At the time? Oh, oh, yeah. So, did we even open? Yeah, I did. Remember? How, how did you open? I said, this is the Big Black Richard podcast, and this is how I've been explaining it. Oh, thanks I'm, for watching, I'm guys. The Catch big, you in the next one. I'm the big Keens the Black and Richard's the dick. We should dress in each other's clothes one time and then introduce. Oh, blackface! I thought we we're gonna do aprons only. That's what I. That's, Ooh, what, I, that's what I meant to point aprons out. Only. I meant to have only my apron, hat, and in cup. But I forgot because I thought we were having a guest. So I was like, oh. I'm not gonna. Dress so like yeah. That. So there's a gentleman here in town. Uh, we met him a few weeks ago City National uh, at City National Bank. His name is Ray Montgomery. He is. Um, the president, me. CEO. Yeah, he's older than you. Um, but he, he, the first thing that he said <laughs> when he spoke, me and Keen just looked at each other and we we're like, we need to meet this guy. <laughs> this fucking and so <clears throat> he gets up in front of the thing and he goes, he goes, hi, my name is Ray Montgomery. Kind of does a quick introduction and he said, aren't the flowers beautiful? I slept with the lady that made those <laughs> flowers. And I was like, I don't even care that that's his wife. I need him that shit was to be my friend. 
Um, so he he is an older gentleman. I had dinner with him Thursday and just kind of pitched the idea. Well, so I told him, I said, I want you to be on one of my podcasts. And he said, he said, well, what are your podcasts? And I told him about Bricks and Business. He's like, oh, okay. And and then I told him about the BBR. And he was like, yes, that one. That's the <laughs> one I want to be on. So <clears throat> we're going to have him on at some point. I don't know when. Sure. But he gave me his business card. And he was like, I'm looking forward to it. Did you show so, No. So I is that today I should come in only an apron and hat? Yeah, probably like not. A- we don't want to have too much clashing. Too much. We don't black. want to take. We don't want to take any away from this guy because okay. he's going to be funny on his own. Mm. I think. I see. So, so that's fair, I guess. Um, you know, it's been six months since I retired. Yeah, that's to, been as today. Today, uh, May thirteenth. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, today. bro. So. May thirteenth. May congratulations, dog. How does it feel to not have finished the fucking book I gave you yet, too? Oh, I finished it. Which book? I finished it. I finished it. Look at this. Look at this. Because you had somebody read it to you. <laughs> yeah, I did. The author. <laughs> I told him that shit yesterday at the gym. I got to, ch- I got to chapter 9, 10. <laughs> Fuck, I told you you like should have finished it. I know, I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be finished. So yet. look at that. Look at that. Right there. Finished. Yes. Is that what you said four times or three times? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Laura, I finished. I, I came first. So, I came I first. Finished, I finished the book. It was. I finished all ninety-one chapters. There's ninety-one fucking. Yeah, chapters. Yeah, it was like, they're very short. They're chapters. short chapters. But this this girl went through some hell. Yeah. I mean, uh, but like her mom is just awful. Yeah. And and her and she like. She very much cared about her mom so much that she thought that this was just normal. And I watched an episode of 911 last night. Reno 911? No, just, just 911. Um, this is more serious. And the fireman, the chief, fire chief, it was, he was playing back his dad's death, basically. And, and the kid was like, the dad was just awful and abusive and stuff. And the, and the kid just, was like, this is my dad. He's my hero. And he is a hero because he's a fireman. And like, he was just so ingrained into loving his dad that it didn't matter what he did wrong. And so, uh, Laura and I have tried very hard to like apologize to our kids and to step back when we do something wrong with them to like correct that. Okay. So. You talk about that. You know, I have a friend that his wife was very really abusive and just horrible and horrible. And we talked, and he goes, "Yeah, but I love her." And yeah, that was it. Fuck yeah, I, I, I love her. So he endured all the crap that she did to him every day. Did she die already? Yeah, she passed away. <laughs> Is he relieved or sad? I, 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 no, probably mixed because I think he he mourned that she passed away. Yeah, yeah. So he 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 left town and um, he's with somebody new, but she passed away a few years back. But um, it was just like wow. Mm. And it, okay, changing the subject, <laughs> you know, nine one one. I've I never thought, watched a show. Okay, there was a <laughs> clip where a guy gets pulled over, and the trooper is telling him to do all this stuff, and I thought it was real. And Orlando pointed it out to me. He goes, "No, that's an episode from nine one one, where the uh, the, uh, the guy that she pulled over. He goes, I can do a high kick." And do this. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I thought it was real all these years. I thought it was like a real cop. And I bring it up. And he goes, no, it's not. You thought it was like cops, the show? I thought it was real pullover. And and it was Reno 911. That's fucking hilarious. Wow. And so Landon needs to get that tape so I can edit it in somehow. Because that was a funny. And Fix I, it in post. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna rip both of your dicks off. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love, I love how we end. always... I, Say cool things for Landon to do, like Landon benefits Landon. from this. And he doesn't he doesn't even do anything. He doesn't even look at this. He just like processes it. Yeah. What a fucking guy. Yeah. What a guy though. Taking care of us like that. Okay, well, so uh let that me was, uh, no, let know, me close this out. Mia? It's the first time. You gotta close this out. Do it. If you have made it to this point, um if. You, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of different things I can say. Thank you guys. <laughs> For 
tuning in, we'll go around the room. Mr. Big, Mr. would Big. you like to say goodbye? <laughs> Mr. Big. Mr. Big. We should all Mr. have our own Mr. Mr. Black, Mr. Richard. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Big. I don't know. This one time... Uh, uh, I don't. I, how do how do you say how do you say goodbye in Korean? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> uh, so Kamikaze. this one time though, uh, Mia's mom was at my office, and some guy came in and like tried to say goodbye or hello to her in like <laughs> five different languages, and she was like, none of those are goodbye and or hello in Korean. So <laughs> he was just saying random words. That was awful. So. Uh, it's good to have Richard back, though, even though I still don't look at him that much. No, yeah, he doesn't. He touches you under the table. I feel that. He doesn't. He nudges me every time he touches you. So Does he? I have to, like, sweep by his knee to get to yeah. yours. Are you sure that's his knee? That goes on my knee. Maybe you guys should try to say mm. goodbye in each oh. other's cultures and in, in each other's ho- home languages. Uh, what's can, my home language? Um, uh, choose. German. Choose. Well, don't. Oh. don't I was going to. I was just. Uh, Mia, Mia's trying, trying to rewrite this thing. Okay. Like she was here, like this is episode number one. Listen, you didn't give me any guidelines. Yeah, so I didn't give you nothing. Okay. I, you, you're good at freestyling. Mister, like Mister, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> two people are about here. to. You're about to go over time. You're two people time. are about. Uh, so to, the way yeah. the way you say bye is uh, I don't know. Smell you later, and okay. then the way Richard says uh, bye is adios. See you tomorrow. Okay. Did you? You didn't. You didn't. Cat. You didn't. Thank you so much you for clean his lip. everyone. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Fine. Oh, my Okay. <laughs> Adios. And guys. what's yours? <laughs> Peace, bitches. Okay. <laughs> I think I Three amigos. I pressed the magic buttons. Yeah, that's the pitch. Big Black Richard. The mood is rich. One is hefty, one's got flair. One is bold with style to spare. Taste the heat so savory. I will. I hope she doesn't watch that. Oh my god, they're so dumb. 
This is killing the battery and taking up extra hard drive space and all this no reason. God damn it. God damn it.